Hey guys, it's GD. This is game number one of Prussian Prince vs. Delicious in the Scanon Intel Invitational Tournament. I am casting with Zripped, Point Man, and the one and only Air of Carthage. Please do check out all their channels in the description below, as well as the players' channels. And uh, yeah, see you next time. <laughs> What's up, everyone? Ah, hello. <laughs> anyway, Double party, it's yeah. in Scanon Intel uh, Invitational. It's Prussian Prince against... Uh, delicious and game slightly lagging, but if you see it's a bit slideshow lag, so it's connection lag not uh, It's not it's FPS fine lag. It's fine to me. Yeah. Yeah, not I think it's because me. you're streaming uh, Could be could be and you're recording too. Well, then I'll have to stop recording. Let me check We should probably do the builds before any engagements happen. Uh, I'll go yeah. over. Just, uh, uh, get the footage from your Twitch. I'll go over Prussian Prince's build. Prussian Prince has five units of Royal Cataphracts at the front, supported by two Camel Archers behind them. He's got three units of these Mercenary Hoplites, two Elephants today, Indian War Elephants for Prussian Prince, and he also has. Oh, is that another Royal Cataphract on the right there? Six Royal Cataphracts and two more uh, Sarmatian Lancers on the left. Interesting to see him bring Sarmatian Lancers for this battle. Huh. I feel like the hoplites will destroy all those spearmen. I don't know what Indy kind of. Indy is interesting. Yeah, Indy's build. Does anyone want to go over that? Or okay. delicious, not well, Indy. delicious. Yeah, delicious. My bad. So delicious here have a main line of eastern spearmen. It seems yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six of them, with royal cataphracts uh, general behind them. Uh, his right wing consists of two noble blood calf, one royal cataphract, one no another noble blood calf. Indian War Elephant, another Noble Blood Cap, so four of them on right flank. Camel Arches. On left flank we got Indian War Elephant, Royal Cataphrag, Camel Arches, and... What? I think he's using Whistling Arrows. Three more Noble Blood Caps, so he have seven of them. It's pretty... well, these Eastern Spearmen, they kinda useless from what I remember. So, it's pretty much all about cavalry for... Those Eastern uh, Spearmen ripped. if they get charged frontally, uh, even when they're bracing, again, uh, with the uh, Cataphracts, they will they will shatter instantly. Yeah, but considering I the think cavalry if Cavs is... are pinned and you send the Spearmen in, then you'll get an advantage, like what he's trying to do now. Hmm. Yeah, but if you take the whole cavalry situation in uh, account, for Prussian Prince it's just no use charging these Spearmen, uh, because he has strong infantry contingent, these mercenary hoplites are actually decent. Look, and look, yep. this is bracing oh. bonus. Yeah, bracing look bonus. They... Zero men lost in that charge. Yeah. Zero yep, knocked down. down. My half instantly. And look at another, on another side of a battle, there is uh, a lot of cavalry fi fights happening. Counter charges. Uh, hmm. Delicious, get your army in there. Prussian Prince uh, is I just... I don't know, this is huge mess. Yeah, Prussian Prince is just concentrating his forces. He's going to beat this section of his army, and then he's going to focus on the other. It's, it's brilliant. I mean, it's, it's the good. right thing. When you have this much cab, that's what you have to do. You have to use your mobility. And his elephants are now into those spears. Look how those spears just route instantly. Very Romo low Jeez, morale on those guys. Instant. Just in th Absolutely. They're just going to get destroyed. The other Indian War elephants for Delicious here... It's fighting um, these mercenary hoplites, and it's not doing well. Yeah. <laughs> like, hoplites is just like uh, drops left by Prussian Prince. Or oh, not a trust, but something that uh, Delicious have to micro Oh, round. Oh, oh another cat my that is goodness. That he charge brought... All yeah. 20 kills all oh, instantly. my goodness, dude, look. Downhill. <laughs> my god, that was brilliant. Oh my goodness. That was like gravity from Lord of the cataphract. Ring. <laughs> gravity and assisted look, cataphract. <laughs> another uh, beautiful thing about Russian Prince. Look how his right wing going wider and wider. While uh, Delicious blobbing up in the middle more and more. It's like, it's something that's very difficult to maintain in a game when you keep flanking. Like, your spread. I think I'm this sorry, game is over. is over. It's pretty much over. That was a it very quick matchup. Holy moly. Pretty much. 
And uh, let's be honest, build-wise, uh, Noble Blood Cavalry not the best choice nowadays. Royal Cataphracts are better. You know, I'm very yeah. surprised that both players didn't bring that many horse archers into the battle, especially that it's Yethrib. Um, I don't think those mercenary hoplites... Oh, they actually do. Do they? Let's see. No, they don't get heat resistance, but he didn't need it there. He just outflanked from the right, used his, as Zerip says, his uh, mercenary hoplites as... Little battle traps. He just kind of left them around in the battlefield. And if you look at uh, yep. Delicious's army, not one of those units is going to like running into uh, any one of those mercenary hoplites for any reason. Um, if you get caught yep. on it, you're going to... And that's what happened. Units were trying to make their way to the left flank, but Prussian Prince placed very nicely, intercepted those, uh, took some nice charges, braced well, and he just... Awesome up. charges. Look at that. 139 losses. Beautiful. I think this is the most one-sided victory we've seen in the tournament so far. Oh, you haven't and... seen my Lionheart matches. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, look, you said there were no horse archers, but they both preferred to take... Uh... Two camel archers instead, yeah. Yeah, because because killing power of these things are abysmal. Like, it, it, it doesn't matter. I'm not... They don't kill much. They don't have enough ammunition. I'm not so sure. So... I'm not so sure because... Two, two, two reasons why I'm not so sure with that. That was true in patch three for sure. I don't know if there is a ninja fix for patch four, but uh, in the previous round, Prussian Prince played against who did he play against? You, right? Me. Right. Yeah, he had an e uh, with his Egypt army. It was also on Yathrib, wasn't it? Or was it? Yep. Yeah, his one no, of wait. his one it... one of his camel archers got 156 kills. They were just uh... shooting. No, no, no. It's not shooting. It's uh, his camel watch in melee mode got to my slingers oh, in the second right. match. But like uh, basically the Parthian armies, at least I've been uh, playing around with with you know some of my friends, mainly Achilles, is a lot of cataphracts and then bringing a skirmish core just like you would bring a skirmish core with a normal army, but substituting your foot archers with horse archers. So you have six horse archers acting as your skirmish force. You have six cataphracts uh, to clean up. And then you have one elephant and, you know, maybe no infantry at all. But this was an interesting style to see from uh, Prince. And it's obviously effective. You saw how he made it work. Yeah. Man, and I like uh, how Snare called it. Speed bumps. Yeah. That, uh, <laughs> Speed bumps. Perfect. Uh, yeah. Uh, Speed bumps. 